So I think when you're dealing with a diagnosis of cancer, it's obviously a very serious situation. And it's important that patients understand what their options are. Um, I've studied immunotherapy most of my career. This is a, a form of treatment that helps the immune system to fight the cancer. When it works, it can be very effective and occasionally gives us complete responses, which can be very durable. And so uh, patients need to know that these treatments are out there. Proleucin is one of those therapies, and it's important to ask your doctor or your healthcare professional about whether this might be right for you. So when we consider patients for Proleucin, we do an initial workup and we look at the overall performance status of the patient. We like to make sure that they have a good performance status. We check general organ function, paying particular attention to cardiac and respiratory issues. And we will also look at the CNS to make sure that there's no evidence of brain metastasis. Proleucin is given in the inpatient setting, which allows us to really monitor patients very closely. When patients come in, they get usually five days inpatient, nine days of a break, and then five additional days of, of treatment. We call that the 595 uh, regimen. Proleucin does come with a, a range of adverse events that over the years we've gotten fairly good at managing. So it's important to remember that many of the toxicities that we see are preventable. I think one of the benefits of being in the hospital is being at a specialized center where there is the expertise that can take care of the type of side effects that occur with Proleucin, and they usually are, are fairly well tolerated, and most patients recover completely. Well, an important part of proleukin therapy is that we generally will get a sense of how patients are doing relatively quickly after treatment. So we typically will do the scan within four weeks of finishing a course of treatment, and we'll have a good idea of how they're responding. This allows us either to continue the treatment and try to push toward best response, or we can take the patient off and then move on to other therapy. So in an age when there are many other treatments available for the cancer patient, you know, having a, uh, a treatment that works relatively quickly is, is a big help to us in the field. One of the uh, patients that sticks out in my mind is a patient who came to me um, after being diagnosed with melanoma. Um, he was uh, a CEO of a company. He asked me if he should be getting his affairs in order, and I said, you know, I'll tell you when it's time to do that, but I would wait just now and let's go through therapy and see what happens. And uh, eventually he went on to have a complete response. He's now 13 years after treatment and uh, uh, he recently came and took me out to dinner with his wife and said, you know, thank you. Uh, I think I'm here today because of you. And he said, I'm so glad I didn't uh, sell my company.